the website Apple Insider has come over some new Apple patent that reveals a new camera system with both a wide angle and a telephoto camera lens. As we have seen in earlier rumors, Apple are investigating ways to fit two camera lenses into one portable device, an iPhone. And in this new patent we can see a telephoto lens that has a track length of 6mm or less and a focal length of about 7mm so it's quite possible to add this telephoto lens to a coming new iPhone and this patent is from October 2013 so it's a quite old patent because of all these rumors about a new camera and new camera technology we could really see a new camera system a new camera lens on the coming iPhone 6s and the iPhone 6s plus this fall. The S version of the iPhone usually get a better camera than the first version of the new number. So the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus has a very very good camera but the S version will probably have an even better camera. And personally I think the reason why Apple is focusing on the camera now, a better camera, is because they want to get rid of the protruding camera lens on the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus because Apple will always want to have the best design possible on an iPhone. They want the devices to look so beautiful as possible and the protruding camera could be a failure in their design. Maybe Apple thinks that they need to do that better for the next iPhone. So that is probably why they are trying to find a better way to make a camera even better and could have that better camera in a thin device, a thin iPhone, in a very thin design. I did a video a while ago about that Apple has bought an Israeli company called Lynx that makes multi-aperture camera modules that makes it possible to have a really short camera module, a very thin camera module. So that would help to make a better image quality in the camera lens but still have a very thin phone and Lynx technology is based on either two or three or four camera lenses in one camera module so that makes it possible to have an incredible image quality in a very very thin module so you can have that in a thin device as the iPhone really is. So it will be very interesting to see what Apple will do with the camera on the iPhone hopefully already in the next iPhone this fall but uh, if not we will probably see a really good camera on the iPhone 7 next year. And personally I'm very happy with the camera on my iPhone 6. It takes very good photos and the video quality is quite good too. But uh, I would like to have a better front facing camera so it's easier to record vlogs. So you see yourself on the screen while recording. So I would like to have a better front facing camera. So hopefully Apple can solve that problem too. Okay, bye.